Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are doing an overview of a new note-taking app. This is primarily aimed at developers, but it can be used by others as well. Uh, and it is looking like a great note-taking app. It is called Acrom. I think I, I'm pretty sure I butchered the pronunciations. Uh, but anyways, let's just jump right into the application. So you have different pages here. You have a My Day View, uh, all uh, pages view, uh, active view for all of your to-dos, uh, all pages, archive, and you can also set up an integration with Jira and GitHub. Don't know why anyone would use uh, Jira with this since Atlassian already has their um, their own version of this, which is called Confluence. Uh, anyways, this app has a My Day view, which is basically a daily journal. As I said, I uh, as I have said many times before, I love a good daily view because it can function as an inbox. We have backslash functionality where you can link pages, you can insert templates, images, code block, table, equation, mermaid. Jira issue so you could take your issues which are basically to do's inside of Jira and actually add them inside of here and a github link as well so it has uh, some things that it offers it works with markdown as well which you would have expected from an app like this uh, but the way this works is that it is more of a project manager. So I can create myself a new page right here. Let's just call this test page for YouTube. Uh, and I can add status to this test page as well. So I can have it as a to do in progress or done and I can set a date for it as well. So let's say this is supposed to be done some time in June and it is in progress. Now, if we jump into here, you can see that it appears in my active view. So this is more of a project manager than a note-taking app, but it works as a note-taking app as well. Uh, so well, another thing you could actually do inside of this is to add new folders. Let's call this folder YouTube, and I could add this into here as well. So all of your different projects could be in uh, different folders and you could have a bunch of pages here. You can also link pages. Uh, so you can link pages like this. And once you start uh, do backslash link or double brackets, so either backslash link or double brackets, you can start to link pages. And I will just find a page I can link. I can link the YouTube video ideas right here. Uh, and it will link to this page. As you can see, this has two links inside of it. Uh, and we can see the backlinks here as well. Uh, we, as I said, we have the folder structure and we can also add a new view right here. So this is your different views. So I could add a new view. If I wanted to add a view, for example, for my YouTube projects, I could do that YouTube project and I could go in and I could add filters to this view. So I could filter by folder or I could filter by uh, label. Uh, and I can turn on and off has tasks. Uh, so this is more of, if you want to use this as your note-taking app, this is more of a Notion kind of note-taking app than uh, something like Obsidian or Reflect. But this is more uh, like a Notion type of thing where you get project management and you get notes as well. So you could use this both for notes as well as for project management. You can add different tasks and you can schedule these tasks. So let's say I wanted to do this tomorrow and I actually want to do this test task right here. I want to do this today. Uh, and I can keep on adding tasks here. So you have uh, basic task management inside of this as well. Uh, as you can see, this appears in my day once I have added it. 
So you have task management, as I said, this app offers a simple way to just take notes and be able to uh, manage your projects. I personally like this a lot better than something like Notion for project management, but that is uh, specifically because I struggle with apps like Notion that allows me to build everything myself because I do more building than actual work. So um, if I was in need for a project manager, this would probably be something I would try out, but I am not as of right now. We have the ability to add tables as well, as I said earlier, and you can sort of build your own workspace or your own pages, which is again quite similar to something like Notion. But this offers you the different views with date setting and statuses, and you can also create your own views as well. So this allows you to actually have all of your uh, projects. It is encrypted as well, if that is something you are worried about. This has a focus on privacy. So this is an encrypted vault synced to cloud in one minute, it says right here. Uh, when it comes to pricing, I will show you that as well. So the pricing of this comes with a personal plan, everything stored as local MD files, end-to-end -end encrypted, mobile apps, web access, Apple Calendar, uh, com uh, community support, uh, and this is free forever. For the pro plan, you get GitHub Sync and Jira Sync, which I showed you, Google Calendar Sync, Acrom Assistant, Publishing, you get dev Discord channel access, priority uh, support, and support the development of this. They have a team plan as well. This costs eight fifty if uh, you bill it monthly, which is a great pricing, and you could get away with the free plan as well if you just want to use this as a single person. So who would I recommend this for? This is probably one of the best apps for people that have a very project-centered uh, life, that has a lot of projects that need to be done and take notes around those different projects. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this to the most vivid note takers out there like myself because it is too project focused for that. I'm quite sure that it would work, but it isn't the best at just general note taking, which I do a lot of. What this is really good at is actually having many projects and being able to track all of your different projects in different views, but it offers a good way to take notes as well. It isn't a terrible note taker, that's not what I'm saying. It is just tailored towards people that have a more project-centered life. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. And as usual, thank you so, so much for watching today's video.